thought I'd do a quick update this morning. We had uh, uh, heavy rain last night, and this creek you've seen in some of my videos, but uh, it's full of water this morning, and it's up uh, several feet. It's not up in our hay fields, at least not over here. There's one uh, field on out that way. I'll walk out there and take a look see at it. Sometimes the water gets into it a little bit. But the rain has kind of stopped, but the water will continue to come down out of the mountains into these creeks. So it, even though the rain stopped, uh, the water level will probably come up for a little bit before it goes down. And uh, a lot of debris going down through there. There's a stick. And every now and then one of these floods will carry a piece of a big chunk of firewood right up here to the bank and we can cut it up. Here's another spot. You know, obviously right there is the creek bed, but it's coming in down through there and uh, back back up into this little flat spot. It's like a little island right there. It's a very narrow strip. You might be able to see on the other side the water that runs in behind that. It kind of makes a fork right there. It runs in behind it and then comes back out down, down there. So my concern was that water might be up in in this hayfield. Sometimes the water will uh, come in through there, and uh, this is kind of a low spot uh, for this hayfield. But there's a little bit of a rock pile right there, and you can see on the other side of it uh, the water's flowing, but it has not got into this hayfield, which uh, is great because this is a pretty good producer down in here but every now and then it does flood here's another shot of the creek coming down through here did a video uh, here a few weeks back called social distancing and I was standing you know right out in along that tree and you can see where the debris is kind of washed up on the shore here Water's got to get up pretty good to get in this hay field. I've never really known that to happen. All right here's another spot. Wind blowing. Uh, hopefully it's not too noisy. But... That's where I was standing uh, in, uh, as I mentioned in the video. Social distancing videos. There's the tip of that little strip or island that I spoke of. You can see the water coming out. Water pouring off that water pouring off that bank up there. And you know, creeks and bodies of water, rivers and things like that, uh, they're kind of like a dog. And you know, as much as people like to get as close to a, a creek like this, it's very scenic when it's calm. Uh, just like a dog, you know, you want to walk up and pet somebody's dog but at the end of the day, there's it's still a creek, and the dog is still a dog, and the, the dog can bite unexpectedly, and a creek can flood unexpectedly. Yesterday, this was the body of water was full. Uh, today, it's trying to come out of its banks. Now, what's funny is in the summertime. You get out into August when it's dry, you can just, you can step on rocks and walk all the way across. So 
So it's been about five hours since I was down here uh, earlier this morning, and the water has come up uh, a fair amount. In the other video, that hose, I think you can see it and the edge of that uh, old pipe right there. Uh, we used to pump water out of this creek for the cattle, and but uh, we're, set, we're having some rain squalls. The rain is really over, and uh, the sun is trying to come out. Sometimes it does, it's nice and sunny, and then we get a, a little shower. It's windy and kind of sprinkling some here right now. This little strip right here of an island, if you will, you can see the water on the other side. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of being consumed uh, by, the, by the water. So here's another section of the creek coming along the farm, and really the creek bank is you know, right out there close to those trees, and there's the, the tip of that strip that I was talking about, and the water coming around, and it's starting to back up in here a little bit. Um, I keep thinking that it's the water's going to go down, and it, and it will, but this is worse in West Virginia. Uh, than it is right here where we're at in Virginia. <clears throat> and in West Virginia, in the mountains of West Virginia, it'll rain way back in the, you know, up in the mountains. And it takes uh, a day or so for all that water to come out. And it has nowhere to go except in the streams. And sometimes the, the small towns downstream of, a, of them, it'll be a sunny day the next day and they'll be uh, being flooded because the water has nowhere to go except down those streams and then overflow in the banks. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. The heavy rains have been over for, you know, since early this morning. And, uh, but the water continues to pour out of these mountains. I've moved down the creek a little ways and the water's up on here, and again, the edge of the creek bank is really down where those trees are. Uh, the video that I did uh, a week or so ago about social distancing, again, I was standing there, down around those two trees right there. This is not a creek you want to fall into today. Like I mentioned, it's overcast and sunny and this rain that we're having is not heavy by any stretch right now it's just coming in bands and so out there's blue skies and up here it's all cloudy and sprinkling a little bit and here's a spot where i was at earlier this morning videoing and you can see the water has come up considerably and again, there's the tree that I was standing at in my social distancing video. But you can see where the water is kind of continued to back up in here and flowing down through there. Right there is the creek bed. And there's the strip I talked about with the water going in around the back of it. Looks like there's a log or something jammed up there. Water's flowing over top of it. And there's a big log out there that's kind of jammed up. There's a lot of debris that flows down this creek that uh, when there's high water like this. And it's windy. I apologize for the noise. checking back into this field and the water has not come up over the that uh, wall of rocks if you will right through there but at the same time it's collecting down in here and uh, that's not uncommon but the field's not underwater we don't have a stream of water coming down through the field Well, it's been 24 hours since the water 
uh, was up and <laughs> you can see the hose, the edge of the hose and there's the edge of that pipe and you know the water was like right up to here on <clears throat> this rock was completely underwater and you know, it's starting to clear up still still plenty full but uh, much better than yesterday and like I say these creeks here in the mountains they can rise quickly and they can go down just as quick as well this low spot right in here you know that was underwater and the water has receded now you can see the island <clears throat> that strip and where that tree laying on the side is up there there was water gushing over it or something uh, that was in that area uh, yesterday <clears throat> but definitely come down a lot in 24 hours yesterday the water was uh, down in here where I'm walking the water was all the way up in here right up right up through there and that's the tip of the strip looks like a lot of wood <clears throat> Collected up against those two trees right in there. Even though the water's gone down considerably, it, the creek is still uh, right full. And normally you can just kind of walk down along through here and So it's got a little ways to go down yet. So right in here, <clears throat> this is right at the edge of my right at the edge of my hay field. And it kind of come down a little bank here. And right here is where the the water had come up to. And Right there is where I was standing when I did my social distancing video, right there. And all that was underwater yesterday. The water level was back up into here. So, while we really didn't get flooded out, I, I'm sure there's always uh, somebody that gets a little water, maybe a lot of water when you get heavy thunderstorms. It seems like uh, some people just live in a floodplain and they deal with this kind of stuff uh, all the time. So no damage here on the farm. The one hay field I showed you had some water backed up in it or collecting in it, it really wasn't backed up. Uh, it's okay. And, uh, you know, the waters are going down, and later on this summer, you know, when we get, uh, when it gets really dry in August, there'll be water in here and up through there, but way on up there, it'll be low enough that you can walk across it on, on the rocks. So that concludes this video and thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.